So tell us, um, where do we start with the influencer program? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. And there's, there's a lot to unpack here. So I, I think the first fork in the road you get to, 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 to make this as actionable as possible, like you said, is you, you make it, and it doesn't have to be an either or, but I think trying to, to really execute kind of going in the vein of the, uh, the one thing, like doing one thing at a time, getting really good at it and building on it. You choose whether you want to approach the Amazon influencer as a revenue stream to make money directly as the influencer themselves, or whether you want to go about this as, you know, I want to connect with other influencers, or I want to take advantage of those other, take advantage in a good way, leveraging the, the power of those influencers on your product detail page to scale sales. So go, going with the, the first one first. <laughs> Um, if you approach the Amazon and I, I'm going to preface this by saying I, I bootstrapped, if you would, all my businesses and not out of some kind of sense of, uh, pride and, you know, I'm too good to take money. I didn't qualify for any money. Nobody wanted to give me money when I started. So I was sort of forced into this bootstrapping and I found myself doing a lot of these different little side hustles to inject cash into my job because I, I didn't keep my job while I was growing the business, which hindsight, I feel it was a mistake. But when I, when I first saw this Amazon influencer program opportunity, it was actually somebody named uh, Andrew Pardeen on, on social media. And he started posting this. I made $180 in three days posting reviews of products that I bought on Amazon. And I was like, that's, that's weird. Like, how do you make money off of a review on Amazon? Like, um, I mean, $180 isn't changing anything, but like that, that's interesting. So I, I love the feature on Facebook posts where you can just put, you know, show me all the, the hist, like the comments that come in on this. So I did, and he kept updating, updating it week after week. And at the end of the first week he was at, you know, I'm making, you know, $60 a day on the influencer program. And, th and this kept going to where, you know, two and a half months in, he's almost at, you know, $10,000 a month. And I was like, Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I could have used something like this when I first started. And one of the communities I have now, we have a lot of like new sellers coming to the community and it just becomes a lot easier to scale a brand or whatever on or off Amazon when you're not stressing about capital. So having this cash flow engine that's constantly injecting, injecting capital into your businesses is just, a, it's, it's, it's powerful. Um, so I was initially looking at this as this is a pretty phenomenal way or idea to recommend to people I know who are just starting off, but I don't want to be a hypocrite here and tell people they should go do this unless I do it myself. And so I got together with my wife, my wife, who's, who's accustomed to this at this point. I said, babe, I got an idea. I got this idea. <laughs> she rolls her eyes. I, I, and I explain what this is and I explain everything that I just shared with you now. And she's like, I, I'm game. Like, let, let's do it. You know, we got two small kids around the house. It's something we could do together. So we, we start this and, and quickly we get this to mind you, we're doing this with a few minutes of our spare time. Like not, not, and we're not treating this at all like a business. And we, we quickly take this thing to about $3,000 a month in money. And all we're doing is we're, we're taking out a smartphone, no post-production, no editing, no anything. We're taking out a smartphone and we're just Getting what look if you look if anyone here listening, just look around. Most things are sold on Amazon. If whether you bought it on Amazon is 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 irrelevant. As long as it's currently sold on Amazon, you could just do a review of it and go to your influencer account, upload it, tag the product. And now what you're gonna notice is now I want people to like visualize this as um and 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 Nick, I know you got this, but like we're looking at a product detail page. You know there's a lot of different placements of video on the product detail page. And starting with that top main you know, hero video on a listing, you'll notice when you click into it now, there's a lot of additional videos that weren't posted there by the brand. Those are posted by influencers. So what happens is brand videos on a listing, they're very like for the brand, they're corporate. Whereas these influencers, it's kind of like amateur hour, but you really relate to them because you, you know, this person's not painting the product in, in its best light that they, they'll say anything. And you relate to it and it increases conversions. Well, if you look at any part of one of those videos and then you buy the products, Amazon pays the person who posted that video a percentage of the sale. It doesn't cost the, the seller 
anything extra. You know, they don't, they don't make less. They take it out of their commissions. They pay the seller, I'm sorry, the influencer, a percentage of the sales for everything that the person had in the cart at the time, not just the product they did the video on. So this becomes a very lucrative revenue stream for someone that just wants to post like five, 10 videos a day. And so, so far, everyone I know that's doing it and consistently, which is a rare thing that someone stays consistent with something for a long time. But if you, if you did just post five to 10 videos a day, most people at around the 90 day mark are sitting at several thousand dollars a month of just recurring revenue that's coming in. And so, so, so that's, that's how it's approached from the, the side of you're approaching this as if you wanted to make money from the program and, and the Amazon influencer the live stream bit, I'll, I'll tackle that together, but I, I, I see this as a, as a great opportunity for brands to, you know, make sure they're not, I notice a lot of people are just like, I, I can't spend more than X amount a day you know, on, on Amazon advertising. And I'm just like, well, I get it. You know, you got to work with, you got, you got to know your numbers and you got to work with what you got. But in my experience, you know, he or she who spends the most, the longest in ads usually wins. Right. Um, obviously with some intelligence, like I didn't make the rules. And when you're in a bad spot, I, I, I don't know if we're on the same page on this, feel free to correct me, Nick, but I feel like in good times, you should run ads. And in bad times, you must run ads. So, right? So like when you're struggling is now not the time to say, hey, let's pull back on our daily budget as hard as that is to swallow where, but I get it. You got bills. You got someone saying, I told you this wasn't going to work. And you got all that going on. But when you have this other revenue stream going on that you can just dump right into your ad spend, whole game changes. And I knew it would have been a lot different for me if I had one of those revenue streams when I was starting. So that's one thing to look at with the Amazon influencer program. I'm not saying you should not do your brand. I'm not saying you shouldn't, you know, I, I don't know if this is going to be something that's as lucrative as it is now in two, three years, but right now it is. Now, 